All right, go back to Mixer Drake to me four dollars twenty cents asking if he's being sub subscribed to a certain streamer on Twitch, a bannable offense. Outside of taking your stuff, he's entertaining on his own. I watch you both. I told you guys I don't care what you watch outside of my streams. Now here's the thing: if you come to my streams and you completely derail my streams with memes from these people that are insulting towards me, right? If you come here and you're using emotes that are fucking insulting and stuff, you're going to get moderated appropriately. As we know, as I've talked about many times, it's against the rules of my chat to bring up detractor content and stuff. You know, if I so choose to address it, that's one thing, but actually doing that and actively trying to annoy me or, or, or derail the stream is against the rules and always has been. So, it's common sense. Go watch whatever the hell you want. I can't stop you, and certainly I can't you know, tell you what to do outside of being on my streams. But at the same time, don't try to ruin my streams. You see what I'm saying? So thank you for the $4 tip. Mature adult just cheered and said, You ever loved somebody so much it makes you cry? Have you ever needed someone so bad you can't sleep at night? Have you ever, have you ever? That's a song. That's a song. Those are song lyrics. Wait, what? What? Oh, there he is. I was like, where is it? It's very hard to see it because it was nighttime, the lighting. All right, we got to the fox den. Let's follow the fox. And then we got new stuff to do in this area that we haven't done yet, so. Where's he going? Or she? Okay. Very nice. Very nice box. Go back to Grinder Ninja. Tip me $1.30 and some big ups. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the dollar tip with the $30 of tips now today. Just under a third of the way to the tip skull. Thank you, guys. Here's the shrine. What a beautiful forest this is at night, huh? Very nice. Out of the shrine. Any major complaints from the game as for money? No. I do have some minor nitpicks. I do. Sometimes the game glitches a little bit when you're sitting on a rock and you're trying to fight. You'll just swing wildly at the air and you won't hit the enemy. And sometimes the camera during combat can be a little bit annoying with a tree or something getting in the way. Um, <clears throat> and definitely, like I said, switching between throwables. Like, oh, I got my bow, but I need to switch to a throwable to use the black powder bomb. But I need to go back to the bow. That could actually be a little bit cumbersome. Um, but those are basically just minor suggestions for improvement. Those aren't like, oh my god, deal-breaking, terrible things. You know what I'm saying? Alright, then we're going to do this Riverside Farm, which is directly behind me. See if that unlocks anything in this region. And then we'll head west and do all this content. At this point, we've almost completed the Act 2 content, as you guys can see. There's not much left. There's maybe this one area I didn't go to. And then there's the western stuff, and then whatever is up here remaining. So, I think we're, we're nearing the end of Act 2. <clears throat> Just Rudy says, how would I rate the game's map size? Especially compared to previous, uh, or not previous, but recent open world games like Assassin's Creed games. I love the map size. I have zero complaints. Again, I think it's well done. The world is well designed. Nothing's boring. Everything's beautiful. You got a good variety of stuff going on in the map itself. <clears throat> So, I think it's good. And I'm in area two of three. We still got a whole third area I haven't even gotten to yet. Draw your blades! Draw your blades, you cowards! Big boy. We got a big boy here. Look at trying to. Oh, you fuckhead! Seriously? Alright, you want some? That's it. What the hell? He lit the other guy on fire. He lit the other dude on fire with the bomb in his hands. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes some funny stuff like that happens. Oh, here we are. Here we are, we just stumbled upon it. 
the Riverside Farm. Kilometers without healing, 507. That ain't gonna be hard. Someone's playing an instrument. That was easy. Stupid eagle just saw me, huh? The eagle sees me. But they don't. Oh, this is interesting. I want to make sure I had smoke bomb selected. <clears throat> They're taking off. The stupid eagle. I love the chain assassinations. I had enough. <laughs> I had to do it. Huh. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to watch the state of play, but if there's any interesting news from it, I'll definitely talk about it on stream. But I'm not going to watch the state of play. <clears throat> no PS5 news. They said it's going to be some updates on PS4 games and stuff. Oh, fuck. Why? Oh, screw that up. Now, if you had kept targeting the guy next to me, that's what I wanted. What the hell is this? He burned his own guy, now I'm gonna die. Ha ha ha! I can heal. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Well, not really. Oh god! Oh god! I killed the eagle with that! I killed the guy and his eagle. Oh shit. A two for one. Damn. That was pretty cool. Blows on his head. Exploding arrow on his fucking head. Jeez. How many more are there? There's a ton of these guys. They'd already given me the reward for clearing the camp and then more kept coming. So over here we've got one of the uh, cemeteries and this might have the cricket. I hear a cricket. I hear a bird. It's 
slaughtered. Now I heard a bird. I don't know where it went, but I just heard a bird. Aha! Uh -huh. Probably telling me to go right here. Oh, there's a lot of areas that just unlocked. Probably telling me to go right here. Ah, oh, it's a fox den. Yep. Okay. All right, let's do it. Another beautiful forest we haven't been in. Look at that. Another nice waterfall right there from a stream. Very nice. Bird, 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 bird. Birdie is the word. What's everyone doing, man? What's everyone doing in the stream chat? Talk to me, broskies. Talk to me, broskies. Give me the bro fist. Come on, Champions Club. I need to hear what you're up to. <laughs> Champions Club. Oh, my God. All right, one more to increase charm power. Oh, shit. Okay. Is that it? I thought it showed another one. I guess not. I thought I swear it showed another question mark, but it seems to be gone now. Okay, so there is going to be more here. You can tell on the way to the castle there will be more, but what I'll probably do now. Let's fast travel to this, and then we'll go here. Yeah, the final request, a new side quest. We'll do that. Okay. Jujuri, we definitely do not need a fist bump emo. Fuck that. <laughs> it's the last thing we need. Oh. That's what I mean. Like, I, I think it's so, it's so phony. These content creators who have to have this ridiculous name for the people who watch their content. Oh, it's the Bro Fist Army. It's the fucking Angry Army. It's the fucking Champions Club. Like, how about you're my viewers? You guys like my personality, my content, you're normal people. You don't have to be grouped in with some weird groupthink mentality to feel like you have some kind of a fucking value in your life. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel it's so disingenuous. And dis it's just not genuine to me. To me, that's like, oh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, generic face in a mob of people who I don't really give a fuck about because, you know, I can't even think about calling you by name. I have to give you some fucking really generic way to go by. And that's just me. Listen, if you guys are okay with that, more power to you. But that's my, that's always been the way that I felt. Like people said, why don't you call... Why aren't we called the hate army or the philanthropists or shit like that? Because I think that's stupid. I seriously think that's fucking dumb. And I think that's disrespectful to the viewers. Stand and fight! <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, he got me. He always, they always give me with that shit. Perfect parry. These straw hats are good at faking out. What the hell? They ran away! Oh, it was unblockable. Hey, what are you doing? Hands off the lady, asshole! Take that shit! There's a ton of these guys! Oh god, explosive arrow. <laughs> I forgot that I was using explosive arrows. Drop your sword. Oh, the for survivors. Jeez. That was a lot of a lot of straw hats storming the fucking place, huh? That was an interesting scripted uh scripted event. Whoa, know your enemy? What is that? I wonder. I wonder if it's because 
I fought... I fought the Straw Hat, but I countered it with arrows because I know how good they are in, in sword combat if that's like a reward or something. I don't know. Anyway, Phil Stinky Vest Crew tipped me a dollar thirty, so I'm going to hate dab every time I hit the like button. Come on, guys. You got to smash that sub button, man. Smash it. Smash the like. Smash the sub. Come on, bro fist champions. <laughs> the shit you will never hear me say. 12 fucking years. The shit you will never hear me say. Smash it! <laughs> oh my god. Someone who actually likes what they do and takes it seriously versus some fucking... guy just doing it to fucking make a living. You know? Oh, is that incense? Yeah, there's some incense. Nothing else here, just a little bit of supplies. Okay. Oh! That hurt. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Hello? Here. The dying woman. What's going on, man? What were they Save doing here? My lord. Help. Why did the Ronin attack? I, I don't know. They forced the men here to go with them. They took my husband, Oda. Do you know where they went? They talked about going to a gorge in the north. Please save my Oda. Oda. Oh, I should say, be sure to like and subscribe for more killer content. Alright, can I be honest here? I she like... Must mean Hollow Gorge. Thieves use it for smuggling and selling slaves. A Ronin camp. I like how things are right now. I like the fact that you guys could come and hang out with me. And we can actually have conversations. And I can address you directly because there's not so many ridiculous, just like uncontrollable mindless people in the chat spilling nonsense that you know what i mean like i hate that i would hate being so popular that there's so many people in the chat at once that there's no way that we can actually converse i would also absolutely hate being forced to put the chat constantly in like sub only mode or something in order to even have like a coherent thought you see what i'm saying um that would absolutely i would i would detest that I like how things are right now, and to be very, very honest with all of you, with the way things have been going this year, the positivity on the streams, the level of support you guys have given me, if it could just stay at this level forever, and obviously nothing crazy happens, you know, if things just stay how they are right now, I would be good, like, I'd be happy, like, for life, and I'm, I, I know it's crazy, oh my god, really, yeah, like, the streams we have are meaningful and fun. I make good money doing this. I'm in a position now where if I can keep it at this level for an extended period of time, I can get out of the situation, the debt that I've been in. I can get caught up on everything. Potentially, like I told you guys, if things keep going well this year, I can get the new consoles. I can improve the business, which I get rid of this fucking couch. <clears throat> get a new setup here, maybe a green screen, right? Um, you know, I'd be able to possibly improve to the point where... Uh, oh, by the way, there's something right near me that I want to check out. I can possibly improve to the point where now I can look to actually do some nice things for myself and my family, maybe improve the house, maybe actually have a honeymoon with my wife. You know, because that's long term. We're so far away from with the coronavirus and everything and being able to do anything like that. All right. But <clears throat> that's how nice things have been this year. And if we can keep things at this level, how really good things can go for me and for this these streams. And... All I want to do is keep things level how they are right now, you know? I'm not looking for it to ever get any bigger. I mean, if it does get bigger, right? F fine, I guess. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> Obviously, everyone wants improvement. But I don't want to lose what we've got. I love the streams we have. The fact that we can have these fun conversations and we can hang out and enjoy games like we're doing. And it's not about, oh my god, you're, I have to gen make you a generic army of viewers because there's so many of you. <clears throat> I can never even, like, recognize any of you. 
and we can't talk because there's so many people. The chat is so out of fucking control that there's no way to moderate it, and there's no way to keep to keep control of it and read conversation. You know, I I would, I would genuinely hate that <clears throat> if that happened, and I don't want that to ever happen. So. I'm perfectly happy with how things are, and I would love if they could just stay how they are right now. You know, that would be amazing. Now, I don't know. As I told you guys, life is a series of highs and lows, and there's no... T Where did the fox go? Oh, here he is. There's no telling what's going to happen, right? <clears throat> things could, could stay the way they're going right now, and things will be good. Things could get much worse. Things could get much better. I don't know. But I'm just very, very happy with how things are. In fact, Black Black Sun Sunjar, or excuse me, Black Sun Judar, says I think that what's best about you, Phil, is that we're a small community compared to most, but it's great because it allows your interactions. No one does variety content to the extent that you do. Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say if that's the case or not, because I don't watch other content creators. But the fact that I'm Am I jack of all trades? Yeah, I know I'm a master of none. I don't play anything to the point where I play it at a competitive level, and I know that. But I enjoy what we have here, what we've put together over the years that I became a full-time streamer here. <clears throat> I really like what we've done. And I hope that you guys like it, you know, because that's what I mean. Like, I don't want this to change. I want it to stay the way it is. And if we can keep it the way it is, things are going to go really good. In the long term, that's why I mean, every day I get nervous. Something, something different is going to happen. Will there be DMCA claims that's going to screw things over? Could I possibly do something so horrendous that people don't want to watch me anymore? You know, I have anxiety about it because I love what I have and I love hanging out with you guys. I don't want this to ever go away, and it could, you know. But why worry about something that's not happening, right? So to me, I'm just happy to be here and hang out with you guys. You know, so thank you for that. Um. All right, let's continue with shout-outs. Uh, FuldiPie sent me a dollar. Smashing like and subscribe is mandatory. If we hit the sub goal, I'll scream really loud during the next viewer's choice and bring another apocalypse by saying racial slurs. <laughs> Midnight Syndicate tipped a dollar. says, saying smash like that subscribe, etc. button at the beginning of every video is closer to begging than what certain people accuse you of. Well, all right. Do you want to know why, really, people scream about me begging? I'll tell you why. It's because... Over the last few years, there's been really dire financial situations that have happened to me where I needed help right away or else I was going to get screwed over. Now you guys know that I wasn't lying about those situations because with my bankruptcy earlier this year, you guys know everything was true that I was telling you. I was behind on taxes. I was behind on this payment. I need to catch up on this. And if it weren't for some times when I did special streams to basically fundraise, I would never have been able to do the things that I've done and get to the point where I am right now. And I appreciate that, guys. I do. But when people think, oh, look at those streams Phil did, where he was basically just asking for financial help and stuff, you see? <clears throat> basically, people turn that into, well, Phil's just constantly begging. Just because I have a subs goal, just because I have a tips goal, you guys supporting that doesn't mean that I'm begging. In fact, what I would say is, here's what begging is. Because I've said this before on stream. Begging is when someone needs help, and they have absolutely nothing to offer in exchange for the help, but they need the help. So they ask for it. That's begging. Please help me. Versus, I'm a, someone who's here six days a week full-time providing a service for you for free. I put out an insane amount of content. Take a look at the amount of content that I put out. Especially compared to a lot of other content creators. I'm here a lot, putting out a lot of content. And by the way, it's not reaction to a fucking live stream or reaction to a video. I'm the one putting out the creative content. I'm not just reacting to something else. This is the easiest form of fucking content on the planet. I'm actually working to play games constantly. How many games do I complete in a year, right? Um, I don't have a lot of personal time or time away from the streams. I get one day a week to spend with my family. That's it, you know? That's a lot of sacrifice for what I do. And if you guys like that, and then I say, okay, we have a tips goal today. We have a sub goal for the month. And you support. That's not begging. That's, I'm putting out an actual meaningful piece of content. My God, this is gorgeous right now. I'm putting out meaningful content. You guys feel that way and you support the me and the content. That's very different than me just sitting here and saying, guys, I got nothing for you today, but I really need your help. Send me some money. That's not what I'm doing. And I, don't, I, would, I wouldn't want to do that. You know, I want to feel that what I've done for 12 effing years here 
has had meaning to people to the point where they want me to continue to be successful and support. So that's the thing. Like, oh, begging. No, just go ahead and smash that sub button, bro. You know you want to join the Champions Club and buy 25 of my shirts today, bro. What is that? What does it even have to do with the content you're putting out, right? <laughs> but there's obviously a distinct difference, but that's it. People don't want to don't want to talk about that. Come here and fight. They don't want to talk about that. They want to pretend like I'm the villain because I'm the small guy. You can make fun of me and get away with it. <clears throat> this guy's going to get me. He's going to juke me, and I'm going to get killed. He almost got me right there. There, I got him. He almost got me there. Nice. Is that it? A woodcutter shelter. I'm, I have ghost mode unlocked right now. So if I do run into more, I'm just going to go go. Oh, here we go. Ghost time! Look at this guy! Come here! Oh, yes! Nice! That's amazing, my lord. Ha 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 ha! They saw ghost mode. They're like, that's amazing, my lord. Oh my god, you're so badass. Anyway, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, all this stuff that I'm talking about right now. Like, I really am I'm enjoying life right now. I mean, things are going good. Once the whole tax situation gets resolved, it's, according to my tax accountant, it should get resolved. As soon as the government stops being backlogged, they're going to get around to me, and we're going to figure it out, and it's going to be fine, and then... All we need is for things to stay the way they are, and we're good. You know, like, life's going to be good, man. I'm having so much fun right now with life, and I just, you know, I know things are going to get better. My I, I got this attitude that things are going to be positive and get better. We're going to be able to improve the business and everything. And things are going to get a lot more positive around here, and I'm happy about that, you know. I hope you guys are enjoying everything, too. <clears throat> okay, so Abisho cheered and said, Abisho did a 50 bit cheer and said, Hey, Phil. Well, thank you for the cheer. Okay, then. Seinfeld, Wendy's Frosty Cup, tip to dollar thirty says content creation is a new industry. They cut everyone's payout from under them. You didn't ask for tips when you got paid based on your work output. Now you're paid like a waiter. If someone wrote ack 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 on the tip line at my job, they get punched. That's an interesting take. You're right. I was working as a content creator on YouTube. The pay got cut even though I did nothing wrong. So I decided to become crowdfunded as a streamer, and now I get tipped like a waiter. And you're right. A waiter getting tipped and being insulted becomes big news. I see it all the time online. A waiter got tipped today and only received a fifty cent tip. A fifty cent tip, and on the receipt, some asshole wrote, "This is because your restaurant forces you to wear a mask in the restaurant, and I would have tipped you more if they didn't." And someone takes a picture of that and puts it on the internet, and it goes viral. It becomes viral news. Every day I stream, I get insulted. <laughs> Every day, you know, but that's not viral news. Anyway, Baba Joe is here and tipped $15, which is the biggest tip of the day. Thank you very much, Baba Joe, for the $15 tip. Let's get you up on the leaderboard there. And that jumps us up to... Well, actually, plus the other dollar tip is 16 So that actually gets us to $50 in tips. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We're halfway to the tips goal. The Midnight Syndicate just tipped me $2. Said, I prefer smaller streamers and communities to bigger ones. With bigger streamers, it can feel like they're talking at you rather than with you. I appreciate the interactive proponent of your streams. Don't lose that. Right? I, again, I don't want to lose that. I like hanging out with you guys. It feels like we're hanging out while I play games. Versus, oh, I'm just putting on a stream and there's a large generic group of people out there who are watching and i can't even talk to them because there's so many and every time i look at stream chat it's going scroll 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 and i can't see anything in the stream chat and it's just a bunch of nonsense from a bunch of kids anyway right it's not like that we have we are able to have fun intelligent streams <clears throat> and true enjoyment of games because of the way that things are set up and the way that i built my community over the years and i like that i hope you guys like that too Murdoch is here, tip $5. Says, Some people are salty because despite all the gets thrown at you, you still manage to meet your set goals. 
Look at the streak. That's still ongoing success. It's insane. You know, and I would say this, much like me even being successful on YouTube back in the day, this, this success I've had so far this year streaming, it wasn't intentional. It wasn't anything I even came up with. It was you guys. It's just like, it's kind of like they say it's right place, right time. I guess this was the right place and the right time for something to, to go well for me. So thank you for that, guys. All right, let's talk to this guy who's been waiting forever. Were you taken from me? <laughs> no, my lord. They passed this way, but headed east. Do you know where? They mentioned some cliffs near the river. I know that place. Take supplies from the camp and get to safety. Is my fan on high? Yes, I want it on high. Okay. I don't have the air conditioner on, but I have the air conditioner fan on, on high. I'm trying to see if I can actually get through a day without the air conditioner. I don't know if it's going to work, though. So, search for what? Do you want me to go this way? Okay. Certainly, content, intricate content creation is brand new and it's something very different from what everyone's used to. I think eventually it'll be established exactly how people go about supporting people who do content creation on the internet. And it'll be an established way. Right now, there's so many different ways. You can watch videos on YouTube and there's ad revenue. You can subscribe to a YouTube channel with a paid subscription. You can buy merch. You could, you could buy a sponsored product or use a link in a video or a stream to buy a product and give a, a cut, like a, uh, what do they call that? A commission to the, to the content creator. Um, you could go to uh, Patreon, support a, a content creator via Patreon, right? Oh, God, this guy got fucked up. Um, you could cheer, you can sub, you can tip, right? You know, there's so many ways to support content creators. It's not Those standard. I think eventually it'll be a standard and then people will stop treating it like, oh, you're begging and shit. Okay, yeah, I'm begging. I, you know, I work my ass off. Fight. Yeah, you think I'm a beggar, right? Hey. Here we go again. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, I don't think he was supposed to do that. There are two enemies right next to me, and this is what he does. Oh, he's unblockable. Great. Wow, I couldn't block at all. It wouldn't let me. I tried. Well, that was stupid because I had resolve, but when I did my triple slash ability, the game didn't track properly, and it attacked thin air instead of the guy standing in front of me, and because of that, I got screwed over. If it had tracked properly, three of them would be dead. saw me already. All dead. Should free the men. That's it. They never stood the They ran away. Me. That was one and he ran away like a coward. That's pretty funny. Fuzzy Green Fruit Fanatic hit me a dollar thirty. He says, if anyone tips waiters and waitresses, I follow them home and release their personal information to the internet because pay pigs are bad. Working at Denny's isn't a real job. There you go. There's another strong criticism. Why is it that people can tip a waiter or a bartender or anyone who does a service, yet if you tip a internet content creator, somehow idiots think that it's a negative thing and they harass people online for it. It doesn't make any fucking sense, does it? <laughs> You're safe now. Thank you, my lord. These Ronin deserve death. They killed innocent people at the inn. I recognize some of them. They used to serve Clan Yarikawa. Survivors of the rebellion. Oh wow, the Yarikawa. Still traitors to their own people. There are more of us nearby. The Ronin took Hoa, Kyoe, and Oda. Then Oda's alive. If any were killed here, 
Tend to the bodies, and then go somewhere safe. More looting. So we gotta keep going. There's more and more Ronin camps. This is a pretty interesting quest line, killing all of these straw hats. Straw hat slaughter, they should call this. <laughs> okay. Wasps. I n you know I never use the wasps. Ever. I never use the wasps. I always forget about them. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, that is there somewhere. Show me another standoff. Here we go. <laughs> These are not straw hats. These are just Mongols. These are just generic Mongols. That's it. I cleared the whole camp. The straw hat completely became a coward and ran away. So what I did there was a combination, okay? I did the triple slash, but then I also threw down a smoke bomb. So those who weren't killed by the triple slash were stunned anyway and weren't able to do anything about it. I could have gone ghost mode. I forgot. I have ghost mode built up here and I didn't use it. I'm going to use it next time. I have so many abilities at this point, I forget to use half of them. Okay. Uh. My lord, please. You must hurry to the inn. My wife was wounded. I spoke to her. Is she? Her final thoughts were of you. Oh, no. My poor sweet wife. <laughs> her death was avenged. These ruin will never hurt anyone again. Thank you, my lord. I need to see her one last time. Oh. And say goodbye. Yeah, so that was his wife at the very beginning of this quest line. How sad. That's it. We finally finished it. Sad. Very sad. Charm of Dual Destruction 2. Attacks have a 10% chance to deal double damage. It's half of the other one. Interesting. Ah, collect. Some supplies. Okay. Alright, now, did we clear everything out in this area? It sure looks like we did. We're very close to the castle. Um, The final duel is right there. So maybe we can go from the fox then and have our final duel. I'm curious, can you use ghost mode in a duel? That would be pretty broken, don't you think? That you go ghost mode, all of a sudden you get like four unblockable hits. Just boom, 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 boom. You fuck the guy up. I would think that probably ghost mode wouldn't apply because it would be too overpowered. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's finish that legendary quest line. Let's do it. Whoa. Here we go. Let's go eat. go to the east here. To so I think it's up here, right? Oh, well, can I climb this thing? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to go around the long way. This way. Here we go. Oh, 
thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening. What a view. Look at that. Oh, we're going to duel at that statue? Seriously? I think we are. I think we're going to duel at the giant statue. <clears throat> now, is there a way to get down there? What the fuck? <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well. There's no way to descend here. I want to descend. I don't think there's a way to, though. Wow. This up here. Where the water comes from, right? No, I don't want to do that. Oh, never mind. I survived. I thought I was going to die, but no. This must be it. There's a cave. Oh, wow. A hidden dueling area back here. This would be interesting, huh? Whoa. No straw hat for this guy. Oh, Cave Lord of Bats. At <clears throat> last. This is going to be cool. A Cave of Bats. The musician told me your armor was blessed by demons, Kojiro. Do you believe him? <laughs> I think you should have stayed a legend. Duel on the Mirror of Sacred Light. A final duel against the Straw Hat Army. Cool. Or the Bat Cave, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Ghost mode! I've killed a thousand men. Every death was sweet. The musician was right. You are a demon. What? Oh, come on! I haven't enjoyed killing this much in years. Well, I got robbed. The ghost mode does work. You get a, at least three to four solid hits. I was in the wrong stance. For some reason, I was in the shield stance, and I didn't fucking realize it at first. It screwed me over there. Yeah! <laughs> I've killed a thousand men. Every death was sweet. The musician. The musician was right. You are a demon. You got a ton of health. Perfect. 
perfect parry. Are you the one who finally kills me? Is that what you want? I'm gonna say yes. Done. That's a lot of blood, dude. Damn. Very nice. Very good. That's a good view. So much for the samurai. The dueling. Oh, Kensei Armor. A long toy straw, infamous for his cunning and deception. So, increased resolve, 15% increased resolve range. Ghost weapons deal 50% more damage. Strong an enemy with a ghost weapon causes the enemy to deal 25% less damage and receive 25% more damage. So, in reality, it's not even good for sword fighting. It's if you're going to use a lot of ghost weapons, right? You're going to be using the. Uh, you're going to be using the bombs. You're going to be using the, the smoke, kunai. Then it's great. But outside of that, it's really not good for combat in general. Um, I don't know. I, that's actually disappointing. It doesn't really make sense. Why is it that's 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 the armor? Like, that's not even who the guy was. The guy was a dueler. So why does the armor do that? I don't know. That's kind of silly in my opinion. That's not very good. I don't want to use that. All right, anyway... Let's just max out the final ghost ability, which is explosive shrapnel on these bombs. So now I've done every ghost weapon upgrade in the game so far. I don't think there are any more, right? <clears throat> I think I've done them all. So now, and I've also done all the stances. So the next thing to focus on is either going to be evasion or the max deflection. There's nothing else to do. There is one more ability. We have the flame, a flaming sword, but I can't get that yet. It's probably like the last area of the game, I bet, right? <clears throat> so alright someone said I should check out the, the, that outfit and see what happens when you fully upgrade it so when you fully upgrade it ghost weapons deal 30% more damage and then you do they do 50% less damage and receive 50% more damage when yeah look at that but yeah still like it's still all about ghost weapons if you like the ghost weapons great but Nah, that ain't great in my opinion. It's not. It's not. Oh, I don't want to equip the Kensei armor. I equipped it by accident. This is just finding items. Yeah, the Traveler's Attire just helps you find stuff. The broken armor is busted. I almost fully upgraded this, right? Well, I was close. I didn't get to the last level. It doesn't actually change at the last level. Okay. All right, well, good stuff. Let's see here what we want to do next. We could do we could go to the, the monastery and do a, a, a mission for Masako, and then there's all that's left in the region is the major story mission, right? Like, that's all that's here. So I guess we'll do the mission for Masako. You know what? We can do the final bow upgrade. Yeah. Let's let's do the final bow upgrade and then we'll go see Masako. That's what we'll do. So it looks to me like uh like sooner where am I? I traveled to the wrong thing. I did. I wanted to go here. It looks to me like sooner rather than later we're gonna probably be heading into the end of Act Two. It looks like there's one more major story mission left. And there's the mission for Lady Masako. And then I think we're going to probably be heading into kind of the, the conclusion mission of Act 2. A great bow is a work of art, my lord. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I can't do both. All right, let's do the longbow. Why? Because look at that stability increase. There you Lady go. Nago would envy this bow. The longbow is maxed. Now, the only thing left to do is the half bow. Yeah, I need 200 more, and then I can max that bow, too. God damn, dude. Goodbye. Okay. 
All right, good stuff. Let's go up here and see what the next Masako mission is. Here we go. At the Omi Monastery. Whoa. That's a lot of cranes. Look where we are. We're down at the very base of this ginormous Buddha statue. Cool. Sweet. A Buddha. A Buddha, 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 Buddha. Buddha, Buddha. Buddha, Buddha. All right, let's grab this flower. And someone dropped their money here, some supply. Don't know why. And then let's find Lady Masako and see what she's up to. You're mistaken. That does not sound like Kajiwara. Then you're a bigger fool than I thought. Jin, huh. a word, please. What's going on here? Let's find out. Let's find out. Masako, what's wrong? A man named Kajiwara recruited the men who killed my family. His name is on the list. He lives in this prefecture. That monk knows where, but he won't tell me. Well, the monk's a dick. Well. I'll talk to him. Well, kick him in the balls, kick him in the balls, kick him in the balls. It's the best interrogation method. The triple testicle kick. Jinshin, it's good to see you. And you, Lord Sakai. Lady Masako and I are looking for Kajiwara. You know where he is. She accused him of terrible things. I fear for his life if she finds him. Masako has good reason to believe he recruited the men who killed her family. Hmm. He would never do that. He is a humble fisherman, a loving husband and father. I think she is blinded by rage. Jushin, I need to talk to him. As long as it is just talking. <laughs> and he's dead. The family man. Oh, yeah. Take the road from here to the coast. Kajiwara's hut is on the beach. A respectful bow. Well? We'll take the road to the coast. Thank you for your help, monk. Peace be with you, Lady Masako. I can't imagine what you said to Junshin that I didn't. <laughs> he doesn't even try to hear me. It's like talking to a stone. I think he's afraid of you. Afraid? Why? You can be intimidating. <laughs> In our world, that is not a bad thing. We're hunting a cruel and vicious man. He was a retainer for our clan. Dependable and skilled, but quick to anger. We excused his behavior until the day I caught him beating his wife and daughter. Oh, wow. Coward. Hurting his own family. I dismissed him immediately. I offered his wife and daughter refuge in our house. Within a day, they'd gone back to him. Oh it's my god. It's not always easy. Especially when you think they'll change. This path should take us to the beach. We'll leave the horses to avoid being seen. We should approach with caution. I don't want to put okay. Kajiwara's family at risk. So what's going on here? Everyone in stream chat, relax. I don't know what's going on. I'm concentrating on the game and people are freaking out. Stuff's going on. Just everyone relax. Enough of this nonsense. Okay, here we go. That must be because you were fishing hut. The Mongols found it. They may have already killed him and his family. There's a chance they're still alive. Let's go. Damn, there's a lot of them. Oh, 
That was the leader! Oh shit! That was the leader! I didn't even know! Dropped it. I don't see any more moments. <laughs> the house for Kajiwara and his family. Damn. So that was very interesting. Because I didn't even know that was the leader. I beheaded him instantly, and then everyone else freaked out, and I just got ghost mode and killed everybody. That could have been way harder if I hadn't killed the leader first, but I didn't even realize it. Nice. Oh, very nice. New rolls of cloth. Not cloth. Oh. Silk. More than a humble fisherman could afford. So it sounds to me like this guy puts out certain appearances, but in reality, he's not what he seems. And by the way, I think his family's this fucking must dead. This because you were his wife and daughter. I always feared this Jeez. would be their fate. Maybe the Mongols killed them? Then where is Kashiwada's body? This blade is covered in blood. It doesn't look like a Mongol weapon. Uh, it's a fisherman's tool. Fucked up. Masako. Footprints. Leading away from the hut. What if Kashiwada survived? Ran like a coward. Let's follow the footprints. All right. Where did he go? Kajiwara! Lady Masago! The Mongols attacked! My wife and daughter! Quiet, Snake! We know you killed them. Out of love. Better me than the Mongols. It's what they wanted. You sick Ah! <laughs> you recruited the assassins who killed my family! Who hired you? Tell me, and I will end you lovingly, like you did your wife and daughter. All I know is, he understood. Understood what? How it feels to be ruined by you. Oh. How I was driven to poverty. The toll it took on my family. How I couldn't stand to hear another word. Everything you said was a lie. Except about being ruined by me. I know Sadao felt the same way. The conspirators are bonded by hate. The attack on your clan was personal. Organized mm -hmm. by a rival samurai with a deep grudge. But I can't think of who. You'll find him. So all the people who conspired to kill off her family felt that her family had wronged them. But why do they feel that way? Who is the samurai in charge of everything? Hmm... An ongoing mystery, right? Now, I think that's it for Lady Masako for now. We probably won't get a resolution to her plotline or Ishikawa's plotline until the third and final act of the game. From what I can see, anyway. Well, never mind. Another, another thing popped up. Eight of nine. The Conspirator. Ah, okay. Um, I missed out on a question mark here. I guess I could go check out and see what that is. I think so far, that's it's just those two things before we go to the next story mission, right? I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything else now. So, okay. All right, let's very quickly <clears throat> just go to this question mark and see what it is. Oh, I have to wait until fast travel is enabled. She'll be like a second here. 
<laughs> we'll do that, and then we'll go to the, the final Lady Masako mission. And then I guess it does wrap up in Act 3. Unless maybe not. This is 8 of 9. Maybe it lets you do all 9 missions now. I guess we'll find out. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So. Where was this question mark? Right there, huh? That way. Here we go. Ooh. Well, the bird is leading me. Good. I'm going to guess it's a fox den. That's my guess. Then again, we haven't found a hot spring or anything like that in a while. But I'm going to guess it's a fox den. Uh, no. It's a hot spring. I just mentioned that, and there you go. Maple shade hot spring. Maple trees. Beautiful. You see them all the time back on the East Coast. No, the game does not have infinite quests. It just has a lot of good, meaningful ones. It made me feel like it never runs out, but no, they do. Reflect on the fallen samurai or a warrior's burden. How about the warrior's burden? I wish being a samurai were as easy as slipping into warm water. <laughs> Alright. Cashmere Goat just cheered and said, Show me the naked samurai ass. You just you, you just got your wish. Both cheeks of Jin Sakai exposed. <laughs> the double cheek action. Okay. So the next mission, the conspirator, I'm gonna get a samurai clan armor die. Interesting. How do I uh, okay, go to the Pillar of Honor and then hit sell to get to this Lady Masako mission. Cool. Behind. Oh wow! The, the, this like crazy. Where's Juji? Whoa! Speak, monk. Please stop. Where is Juji? Masako, what are you doing? Helping this monk find his tongue. My lord, help! Masako, let me handle this. Fine. But if you can't make him talk, I will. Here we go again with this. Jeez, she's getting more and more forceful. I thought she was going to kill me. No harm will come to you. What do you know about Junshin? Junshin was helping survivors at Red Leaf Temple. But I hear the Mongols raided it. Then he's in danger. We will find him. Okay. What do you want with Junshin? He conspired to kill my family. He's been saving refugees. And his name wasn't on the list we found. Someone left him a note at the temple. It's identical to the ones the conspirators carried. Junshin was promised supplies for his relief camps. In return, he was to provide information on my whereabouts. It's just an offer. This proves nothing. It proves he had contact with the person who killed my family. We will get to the bottom of this. By talking to Junshin. You have my word. <laughs> he was last seen at Red Leaf Temple. She's overcome with rage, and she's not thinking rationally. <laughs> she better not kill this guy. The conspirator. <laughs> Let's go. Wait for me. Keep up. Hail Hydra took me a dollar to just see State of Play Book Stacks is first person. Oh, really? It's going to be a first person game? That's interesting. I told you, I don't think that game is what, what it ex appeared to be. They made it look like a kitty game. I don't think it is. I think it's going to be a dark game because at the end of the trailer we saw um, previously, it showed that all the Book Stacks came together to become like a monster. I get the feeling it's actually going to have like scary shit in it. Like, it's going to be a first person game that's going to have horror and stuff. I'm serious about that. When we find the monk, let me deal with him. Remember, 
We agreed to talk to him. The men who killed my family talked with their swords. Masako, you will not kill Junshin until we're certain of his guilt. Your father was murdered. Did you talk with his killer? <laughs> no. Lord Shimura tracked him down and collected his head. You've had your vengeance, Jin. Don't stand in the way of mine. He don't know this guy's guilty, though. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. <clears throat> oh, great. Oh, God, a trail of blood. <clears throat> it's Mongo killing time. Enough! Bastards. It's ghost time. Double ghost kill. We need to find Junshin. This way. Hello, Mike Ram. How you doing? But sure, else is what's the most useful thing your parents taught me? Oh my god, my parents taught me a million things. The most useful thing? How to wipe my ass. Close. And so is the monk. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, we've been here before. This was the temple that we went to. It was, remember, Lily was destroyed? So now we got a mission here. Okay. Down. <clears throat> We know how to do this. I gotta find the thing to hook and crawl up and drop on them. <clears throat> there it is. Mature adult juice and real mature, Phil. That's right, because I also am a mature adult with a business degree. So, you know, I know how to answer these questions with tact. Hergen Bergen Dergen. Yeah! Yeah! Reinforcements. I need to get Junshin. Here we go. Oh shit! Masako! Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! If we fight, the Mongols win. They already won. Oh shit! Unexpected twist! No way! No way, we're gonna fight her. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. This is sick. I did not expect this at all. Wow. Unexpected duel. You were my friend. Give me the luck. No. <laughs> Defending a murderer! We agreed to talk to him. Talking never works. You promised me. My promise is to my family. Perfect parry. Do you hear them coming? They are the enemies. Well, we don't kill her, but that was pretty epic. I 
I mean, here's the protagonist. What did you think was going to happen? She concedes defeat. Now we fight the Mongols. Oh, I can't see. Oh! Ah! Oh, my eyes! I looked at Junjin. All I saw were my dead grandchildren. Their faces after being cut down. And you were protecting him. So you tried to kill me? Have you lost your mind? I have lost everything! No. You've sacrificed everything. For revenge. And what do you feel when you think of Juzo? Can't let anger consume us. Or blind us to our friends. You still trust me? Junshin won't get far. We can track him down. Masako. Don't ever try to kill me again. <laughs> I won't. I promise. Look for yeah, because it really meant something last time. Hill Hydra tipped the dollar. He said there's a new game called Tentem. It's a rip of a Pokemon for PS4, Darth Vader VR, and Hitman 3 VR. I don't give two shits about the VR stuff. But Temtem's already out for PC. And some people really like it, and others criticize it and say it doesn't have enough content. I know because I've seen on social media people talking about it. Um, But yeah, basically it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a Pokemon MMO. Because they were making a Pokemon MMO and then they canceled it and never did it. So this company went ahead and did it themselves. <clears throat> but it's basically, it's Pokemon to a T. It is Pokemon. It this way. Jin, over here. Looks like he ran into the woods. When we find Jinshin, perhaps I should speak with him first. <laughs> so you don't trust me? No. It doesn't matter. Jinshin won't. And we need him to talk. Fair point. But remember, Jin, he only needs his tongue to talk. Ah, there it is. I was going to say, did it cut off? No, there it is. All right. Pretty cool. Follow him. There's some more footsteps. There he is. Please, don't kill me. Let's talk, asshole. Who offered you supplies in exchange for information about Masako? She called herself Lady Hana. Liar! Ah, Masako, wait. Who is Lady Hana? My sister. Mm. She was massacred with the rest of my family. She visited me two nights ago. Mm. Wore a crimson kimono with a golden sash. Oh, shit. I remember, she smelled of chrysanthemum. No. Betrayed by her own family. I never told her anything about you. Wow. I swear it. Leave us. She was betrayed by her sister. Wow. My sister's alive. She murdered the children. Wow. Why would she want to destroy your clan? I don't know. 
But I am going to find her. You don't have to do it alone. Meet me in Kamiagat. Wow, what a, that's a crazy twist, huh? First you have to duel her, and then you find out it was her own sister. Oh, the fucking horse popped in out of nowhere. Ah, 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 ah. Then you find out it was her own sister. Damn. Don't they always say that, like, when it comes to violent crime and murder, that, like, the vast majority of the time it's always someone who you're real close to who does it? It's never, like, it's almost never, like, a random stranger. You know what I mean? Damn. That is a twist. Now, that mission is not available. So that sounds like the final leg of her mission is going to take place in the third and final act up here in the north, right? So, that's cool. Alright, so really all we have left in Act 2 at this point would be this major story mission. And then after that, see if anything else unlocks. But at this point, it looks like we've done absolutely everything. So that's what I'll be doing next for sure is heading to Omi Village. Right? Omi Village. And starting up this next major quest line. It's good stuff. All right.